Hey everybody, this is Andrew Taylor from Trashburg. Oh wait, do you want me to, um... Hey everybody, this is Andrew Taylor from Trashburg at the third annual Plattsburgh Comic Con at the historic Crate Center. Let's go check it out. You know, it's, uh, you're gonna burn some bridges. You're gonna make some mistakes. This is life. This is Plattsburgh. Trashburg. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, celebrity alert. <laughs> Very uneven terrain here at Plattsburgh Comic Con, the third anniversary. Hey, so I'm here with Matt Boyer and Wendy Cribb of the Greater Adirondack Ghost and Tour Company. And we have our friend Lucy here? Lily. Lily. Excuse me, Lily here. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about Lily and what you guys do? Lily is a Victorian medical skeleton, so she probably died about 150 years ago. Wait, is it a real skeleton? Yes, yeah, totally real. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know yeah. what you were getting into. Though. Okay, I, Matt, I think we should stop. we should cut it off here. <laughs> These guys got illegal, gonna, illegal contraband. Well, we she's pretty legal. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> So we had a physician that looked at her once and he was able to tell us that she was, uh, she's had at least one child, that she, um, what's the other thing? Full grown adult female, yep. uh, early to mid twenties because the uh, skull plates are fused together yep. and that doesn't happen until you're early to mid twenties. Yep. So she's full grown yep. and uh, about the deformity. Uh, yes. The the deformity that only like one percent of the population have. So this had nothing to do with how she died. I don't know. That looks awful lot like a like a bullet wound. How old did you say the skeleton was again? Uh, I think this interview is over with. Vampire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steak. We did have a little boy earlier though that came over and said, "Hey, those look, those look like the bones I saw yesterday." I was like, "What?" <laughs> do you need to tell us something? Yeah. Apparently, his dad's best friend, like they were digging in the backyard and they found a rib cage and a kneecap bone. He's like, yeah, these look the same. I was like, did you take any? He's like, yeah. I'm <laughs> yeah, I took some of the bones, of course. Uh, I'm a local artist, myself and my partner, Jiggy. <laughs> we do spray painting art. Um, we've been doing it for a few years now and we actually got some live stuff going on right now um, during the con. Uh, so that way we get a little bit more interest in people in art. Whoa, so you're doing live spray paint art? Yes. <laughs> so uh, do you do kind of like what's the what's the main idea is it like I'm looking around I'm seeing it for the first time looks like we have some like pop culture stuff I see some young Goku yeah definitely um, <laughs> you know uh, my influence are really horror movies um, some comic book um, Scott is more interested in you know anime and all that Scott's my man <laughs> <laughs> well very cool man yeah, thank thanks you. thanks Hi, uh, I'm here with Alicia Rutaru and at the Plattsburgh Comic Con third annual event. I uh, was just wondering, what are we doing here today? Well, we're just chilling, waiting for the people to roll in. <laughs> Sunday fun day. Very cool. So now you're, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to conflate you a little bit. I think you're one of the, one of the bigger names that we have here. What are some of the things that people know you from? Um, probably see me on Arrow, Supernatural, Dead Again in Tombstone, Danny Trejo. Uh, are, are Marvel you? superhero. I don't like <laughs> what else. You're like, like, I, don't even, my I don't even remember. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are you tight with Danny Trejo? You like you have his number? You can you can hit him up if you need some tacos. I do have his number. I actually <laughs> just texted him. Like really? literally, that's so. Funny. You needed your uh, some Trejo's tacos, right? Um, if he is honest as you like, what is your favorite part about Plattsburgh, New York? That sentence makes no sense. So I mean, I'm not gonna lie, but this beach that you have out here is really beautiful. We haven't really had a chance to explore because we were working yesterday, and mm -hmm. then. Just went out for dinner, I guess, in downtown. Was it kind of, was that your downtown area? We have a like small downtown area, downtown, yeah. Downtown. The tap houses or whatever? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That place was awesome. <laughs> it was an amazing jazz <laughs> Very cool. There. Yeah. Hmm. Well, thank you so much for the candid interview, and I hope you have a wonderful time at the rest of your time at the third annual Plattsburgh Comic Con. Thanks for having me. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you. I just want to make sure 
I think Visually, you'd... it's like as powerful as it can be. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> So I'm here with Emily from Magnum Mel, and it looks like we have a lot of cool stuff here. What are you doing here today? Um, I'm here selling my comic that I make. I'm the artist. Um, kind of takes place in an other world where things people believe in strongly manifest. So the inhabitants are all the monsters people are afraid of, and then the toys kids imagine protecting them, and they're at brutal war. Um, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. And so you have a bunch of different merch. You have the comics themselves, some pins, some glasses. The glasses are awesome. Thanks, I designed those too. Right. Uh, so do you, you do all the writing, illustrations, everything? It's a one-woman show? Not quite. I do have a writer I work with and um, we actually are doing other projects in our world too, like game developing, but I do all the art, so yeah. Wow. Okay, that sounds super awesome. Thanks for talking with us. Yeah, <laughs> have a good one. See who? No. Keep doing that. I, I'll get a good shot eventually. Uh, I wasn't recording. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> What's up, nerds? All right, so I am here with Miss Crime Scene at Plattsburgh Comic Con, and uh, so currently you're dressed as a cow. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about what you do, who you are, and everything? Well, I'm usually a cow, but when I'm not a cow, um, I do a lot of cosplay, I do a lot of modeling, I do some video game streaming, um, I kind of do everything in the world that I can do from home because I hate the outside world. Very relatable. What are some of the things that you have uh, here on the table? Um, I have mainly a lot of prints that I've been working on over the fast, uh, past year, few years, and uh, that's about it, really, because I don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. And you're you're very local. You're local to Plattsburgh. Yes. Area. <laughs> yes, I am. What are some of the challenges that you face as a local person trying to break into this internet? industry um i i mean it's it's awful <laughs> i don't even know how to like put that into other words other than <laughs> Maybe it's too broad it's, of a question yeah i mean especially like around here i feel like it's, it's not very diverse and i feel like this area isn't really you know ready for a lot of bigger things mm -hmm. so uh doing things that i do is kind of that's why I stay on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of the internet, where can everybody find you and your stuff? Um, you can follow me at Miss Crime Scene on Instagram and also Facebook. <laughs> awesome. Go check it out, all of you. What is this trying to say to my children? What is this saying to me as a child? Superman! You're a jerk! Yes. No, not right now. Right. Thank you, though.
Let's go.